Many know the story of how the International Women's Baseball Center was founded, as we fondly remember a discussion over pizza and beer each year, but not as many people know about the founders of the IWBC and the contributions they have made to women's baseball. Of course, many of our founders have made other great strides, but their contributions to women in baseball have allowed the International Women's Baseball Center to make its mark and continue to do great work 10 years after their initial idea over a slice and a pint. Possibly the organization's most recognizable face, Mabel Blair, has spent decades advocating for women's space in baseball history. She played for the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League in 1948 as a Peoria Red Wing and was an active collaborator in the league's Players Association after its founding in the 1980s. She's been a consistent advocate and educator about women's baseball ever since and worked as a consultant for the Amazon Prime series A League of Their Own, where a new generation learned about her work from pressers and film festivals. Shirley Berkovich was Blair's partner in crime before her tragic loss in 2022. A player for the AAG PBL from 1949 to 1951, she was also a consistent Players Association collaborator. In 1992, she made her film debut in the Penny Marshall film A League of Their Own, where she spoke a single line near the end of the film. She also spent much of her life advocating and educating about women in baseball. Berkovich would also appear in the first episode of Amazon Prime's A League of Their Own alongside Blair in August 2022. An advisor to women in sports and entertainment, Donna Cohen has often been a fixture in spaces advocating and educating about women in baseball. She has continued to advocate for this space throughout her career, often organizing talent for special events. Cohen has worked with a variety of women's baseball organizations and has acted as a representative for women's baseball in other baseball organizations. A founder of the AAG PBL Players Association, Karen Kunkel played for the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League in 1953 for the Grand Rapids Chicks. She spent the rest of her life as an educator, administrator, and organizer that made a name for herself in many more ways than just baseball. Kunkel would act as a technical consultant for the 1992 A League of Their Own film and serve as a goodwill ambassador in 2005 for a Japanese series played by the Lady Spirit Baseball All-Stars team. In 2011, alongside her husband, Karen worked as an on-site coordinator for Cactus League Spring Training. Jane Moffat played for the league from 1949 to 1952 and toured, making personal appearances for the Players Association after its founding. In her lifetime, she was inducted into five athletic halls of fame. During her work with the AAG PBL Players Association, she became instrumental in securing the Women at Bat statue in the Cooperstown Gardens of Legends. Finally, the first president and now CEO of the International Women's Baseball Center, Kat Williams, is a women's sport historian and author. She has been active throughout her education career with organizations like the Society for American Baseball Research and the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League Players Association. Her time as an educator has led her to author several articles and books focusing on sport and the experiences of women in baseball. She has continued this work by helming the International Women's Baseball Center for the last 10 years. Without the thoughts and dedication of these founders, the International Women's Baseball Center would not be what it is today if it was still here at all. So celebrate the founders and the work they have spent their lives doing as we celebrate 10 years of their vision.